What's going on YouTube? So today we're using the ultimate wash and wax and I'm going to show you how it works. So I have it diluted into my foam lancer. I forget who makes it. It's a new one. It's working pretty well. The car is filthy dirty. Uh, I tried spraying it down. There's really not much wax to it. So I did want to remove, I did go over the power washer with it once. Wow, okay, that's a big scratch. And hit it. There's literally no wax, but I got a lot of the dirt off. I have a coating on this, on, only on the hood. So that's the only thing that really has any protection. And the coating's kind of failed at this point. So yeah, so this is a 2010 Ford Focus. Sport Edition, so it's the SE. Actually, it might be the Limited. Uh, yeah, actually, I think it's... I think it's... Oh, SLD. So it's the fully loaded one, whatever. I got... Oh, I need to grab my other bucket. But yeah, I have one bucket right now. I'm going to go get my rinse bucket. Great guard in it. Got my towel soaking in there. That's also the wash and wax that's in there. So, yeah. Let's get started. So I'm gonna use the power washer first and show you what I'm talking about. tell there's pretty much tiny bit of wax left I mean tiny but really not much I mean you can just see the water just not moving around not going anywhere if you look at the hood though well, at least this side of the hood has some protection on it because you can see it's coming off but over there the coating's all gone the coating is all gone I'm gonna wash the wheels first, but I just want to show you how well the Meguiar's wash and wax does. Like everybody was saying earlier um, in one of my last videos with the turtle wax, so they're getting upset that I was talking about how much foam. I was talking about how the, I like foam. Uh, I do, like someone was saying, they made a pretty good point. You know, all you need is a layer, basically. That's pretty much what does it. So. I like that. So, we got a good amount of foam here. That's a really good amount of foam. That's why I wanted to use this. So, I mean, it's not super thick, but it's going to cover. I'll show you how thick it is. So, you can see right there, it's pretty thick. It's probably 10 millimeters thick, which is pretty cool. So, it's also the other thing is this is going to last for about 10 minutes. I mean about 5 minutes, not 10 minutes. You'll have a pretty good amount of soap on the car for about 5 minutes. So just let it drip off. Let it take as much dirt off as possible. Yeah, I kind of diluted it by having water already ready on the surface of the car. But the only thing that's really going to hurt is it's going to pull off the soap faster. But that's just about it. So what we're seeing here is pretty good. And that's the other thing that I like about the wash and wax is you'll see it when I go to power wash this. Actually, we'll do that right now. So, at least it does leave behind a little bit of wax, which I like. At least some, it leaves a polymer sealant technology, whatever. It leaves, it leaves stuff that's going to help the water be to, uh, come off faster. So 
So like the areas that we had before that had some protection, you see how it made it sheet faster. Again, this red coating didn't hurt it at all. That's the, my favorite part about this car wash is it doesn't hurt any of the finish. It added in, it really helped where there's areas that were already protected. I mean, look at how fast the water sheeted off there now. So when I normally wash the car, I like to do the wheels first, clean the wheels, then go to the top, but this one did a little bit different because I wanted to record this video. Also, you know, you have your two buckets. I mean, when you really wash a car, it should take you two to three hours. And I'm not kidding when I say that. Two to three hours. Otherwise, I mean, from the time you start up, you fill up the buckets and everything. Washing your car isn't just, you don't just go wash your car. It's not just like a 10 second process that people think it is because they run it through a car wash. It's just not that, you know. And plus, you, I mean, like, that's why I love the power washer and it's a great investment because you can knock off a bulk of the dirt. And I mean, there was tree sap up here at the beginning. And then you're just knocking off that stuff, which is awesome because the best way to protect your paint is touching it the least amount. So that's what I try to tell people. The less you touch your paint, the better off you are. But the thing is you have to know exactly what you're doing. You have to have some of the tools so that you get the best results. I'm not saying, you know, you could do it with a hose, but it's just not going to be the best. So overall, I mean, this is what I wanted to show you, what it does. I mean, this, this pretty much improved the water coming off by like 10, 20%, which doesn't sound like a lot, but you add that over to a whole car, that's probably like a whole maybe a panel or two that you don't really have to dry off and it makes drying the car off quicker so that's the thing I wouldn't say it's a really a wash and a wax like you're getting that much protection you're not really getting that much protection but the benefit is when you go to wash it it's gonna be a little bit quicker you know it's not gonna be like eye-opening but for the couple extra bucks you know the same amount as you'd use on another car wash you're saving time so that's what I like and you're touching the car less and it doesn't a lot of the cheaper car soaps will actually if you're they're if you don't dilute them correctly they can actually take off the wax this one how you can roll roll the whole bottle into the foam can and you're not gonna have you will never take off any of the wax so it's very pH safe pH neutral so it's not gonna harm 